All right, uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another tutorial in Maya. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to do a quick composite, or we're going to take a look at how to output a movie um, properly to import into Maya to use as a video clip. So the process is kind of straightforward, so let's get to it, and hopefully I can do this in about 15 minutes, <laughs> give or take. So anyway, let's take a look at the scene that I've built and output to a movie. Um, we'll play there. As you can see, I created a, an ocean in Maya and just a little sphere that I crushed into a saucer like thing there. I attached some various uh, colors uh, to the surfaces and uh, then I have this little spinning moon up here. <laughs> okay, so uh, anyway, uh, this is a picture in the background. So I've, you have a picture in the very background. And then up here I've got a moon where I basically just used, a, a, I filmed the moon, put some of the clouds were going by there. But you'll notice in here, and I don't, can't, don't know if you can see this on YouTube, but it's a little wonky looking. Um, it, you, you can see the mask. Uh, it's a little bit darker here than it is and it doesn't blend. So I can fix that later. But for the moment, it was just about taking a look at um, kind of what we're doing. We want to, I, I want to um, uh, basically bring this into Maya and attach it to um, what's known as an an image plane or, or just basically attaching it to a plane. So let's take a look at that. Um, if I come down here into Maya, um, I have the scene set up here where all I have is a plane and then another plane here and then I have a, a light up here. And essentially the render right at the moment gives us this look right here. So anyway, I want to put that video right here onto this face. So let me show you how to do that real quick. Um, it just takes a couple of steps and um, let's hide Maya real quick and as you can see let's start in After Effects to kind of get an idea of where I went with this in After Effects um, here's the different elements the um, the video footage the picture and then the Maya um, IFF output so basically I just imported that um, IFF sequence into um, After Effects and then this little moon clip up here was another video clip where I'm just using this much of the video clip so I put a mask around here and it's sort of rough in the beginning but I've tried to blend this a little bit to bring these levels together but um, it's showing up when I do an output to a .mov so I'll work on that a little more and then uh, back here is the uh, the picture or the image so if I turn off these um, this essentially was artwork that I just, it was wallpaper I found on the internet, so whoever did this great job, good map painting, and I'm just basically using it as an element to composite um, my image sequence that I output from Maya. So you can see where uh, basically this was a landscape, so it lent itself really well to, uh, you know, putting uh, an ocean over there and kind of blending it in with the, you know, the background. So anyway, um, those are the elements. So this was what I brought into uh, After Effects and uh, you know there it is. So well, what I did is then output this as a, as a movie file. So I guess we can hide After Effects now and here was our movie file that I, I output. All right. So what I'm going to do is take this and we need to convert this first because Maya does not natively um, import .mov files or um, .avi files. So what we need to do is convert it in a little free little application here. You can get it from uh, www.squared5.com. It's called MPEG Stream Clip, and it's a, a free application. It's a wonderful, wonderful tool for converting uh, video footage into various um, other formats. So anyway, go there, get it, it's free. <laughs> tip them, uh, leave a tip in the jar if you can, if you can afford it, if they have a better pro version, maybe think about buying that. I don't know, this is just a great little app and it was free. So anyway, enough of that. Let's come up here and what we need to do is once we open this uh, MPEG stream clip is just drag and drop that video file right on there. Okay, now you can see it's in there and it'll play. And there it is. All right, so what I want to do, um, if you just want to selectively um, select some footage, like say from this point, you can put it right there and hit I on the keyboard, move it over here, hit O on the keyboard, and now you would just basically be outputting this section. So anyway, that's pretty much how it works. So I'm going to go back to the beginning, 
go I on the keyboard, bring it back to the end, hit O on the keyboard, and I'm going to output the whole thing. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, what we need to look at is where we're sending this and how we're doing it. So let's go to File, and we want to export to other formats. And in this case, the program defeat, uh, defaults to a movie file because it likes to work with movies. But in this case, we're going to convert it to an image sequence. And let's go ahead and look at our options real quick. Um, a PNG format is where it's defaulted. And usually you're going to want a TGA or a TIFF. That, that maintains a lot higher quality. also gives you alphas to work with and stuff. So anyway, one of these two is good. Let's just do a, um, let's do a Targa file for the moment. And I think I'm going to set my frame rate at um, 30 frames per second. Um, I don't know. It just seems like my other video footage and everything else was at 30 frames a second. So I'll do that. And I like to deinterlace my video. So that's pretty much it. You can see where its size is going to be output is 1280 by 720. And I'm just going to hit OK. And really what it wants to do is ask you first, where do you want to save this? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to say I want to save this as Emergence um, Images. And uh, I want to navigate. And it's best practice to probably go to your original folder um, where your Maya default folder is. Um, in this case, mine is my Maya 2011 Master, and you want to make sure that it's it's you know in your default. And you know you may want to click in here in default. Let's open that up, and let's actually go into images. All right, and this way uh, the images will go directly into the Maya structure. So if you're um, using these in one of your projects, they don't get unlinked. <laughs> okay, so it's important to put things in side of Maya. All right, so I'm going to go over here to these emergence images, and that's where I want to save all of these images to. So I'll go ahead and select that, and I'm going to hit Save. OK, and then that's where it's going to go. So we'll let MPEG Stream Clip do its thing. You can see where it's encoding the frames. This is the exporter preview. And then it's basically, uh, yeah, it's basically moving pretty fast. Um, mind you, the larger footage you have and the more um, images in there, you know, keep your clips kind of to a small side, you know, 10, 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds, I don't know, just to start out because you'll be getting some pretty large file sizes with, um, you know, converting video footage into high definition uh, image sequences. Okay, so here it is. It's almost done. And there it is. Okay. So we're pretty much done with MPEG Stream Clip. Thank you, MPEG Stream Clip. So I'll go ahead and quit uh, quit MPEG Stream Clip. And um, what I'm going to do is, is open up Maya. And let's first go to our Hypershade. And we're going to create a Lambert. Yeah, right there. I'm just going to click on Lambert. We're going to create a quick Lambert. And for this one, I think what we'll do is we'll assign it a, um, a file. So I'll click on there, click on File. And let's go navigate for a file that uh, that's basically it's on my Media Master inside my 2011, inside my default, and inside Images. And there they are. OK. So I'm going to basically just choose the first one in the sequence, because this is an image sequence. and. Normally, it always plays out as an image sequence. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Open. And there it is. It's attached to my Lambert 5. All right, so let's come down here. And I'm going to click on here. And I'm going to now left, uh, right mouse, come down to our existing material, Lambert 5. All right, there it is. OK, so we've imported the footage, and it's now on the plane. So check this out. Well, uh, I have this about 400 frames, so I'm going to go ahead and hit play. As you can see, it doesn't do anything. Um, the reason that it doesn't do anything is because we have to change one setting in order to make sure it works properly. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come in here and, and we want to go back to this Lambert 5. And we want to reset its, um, we want to set its set it to an a, a image sequence. So the easiest way to get there sometimes is just to come in here and take a look. Let's click on our file right here. That's the, that's the image sequence. 
and let's come over here and look at this use image sequence okay that is what you want to have checked because if that's not checked it's not going to play so I'm going to click use image sequence okay we're good to go so now let's rewind and there it is it's playing on the background it looks a little dark I mean I have a light in here but um, let's adjust that real quickly um, let's click on here and take a look at the attributes um, this is Lambert shader we may want to mess with the ambient color and if I just bring that ambient color up you can see where it starts to uh, you know you can kind of set that to whatever you want you may want to mess around with the diffuse level a little bit but you know for the most part your ambient color is what what you're after so now let's take a look at this and just do a quick render and there it is um, so if I rendered out this scene on top of here you could have other things going on and um, you know you could this could be playing video it could be some other object a wall or a drive-in movie theater who knows but um, <laughs> that's the concept so remember that you have to convert this um, your actual video into an image sequence and that's about it um, let's see anything important other than that now that's basically how you do it so um, kind of an easy task but just make sure that you stay organized because a lot of times um, if you don't stay organized uh, you will you will get uh, in trouble so media master is mine my 2011 default and images and there they are okay so by putting them inside of here your images folder they'll they'll stay in there and they won't go anywhere that way if you uh, open this project up you know later and if you were to say uh, move your folder from your desktop to somewhere else then you're going to have to relink all of these images and that's a pain so um, you want to kind of avoid that all right and uh, i think that's about it so hey thanks for watching and uh <laughs> As always, read a book and learn something. All right.